Fed Chair Jerome Powell signaling today that stresses in the banking sector may mean interest rates won't have to go as high as expected to curb inflation. So what does this mean for the Fed's road ahead? Let's bring in Richard Clarida. He is the former Fed vice chair. It's good to see you again. Welcome. Thank you. So Powell today said we've come a long way. Our stance is restrictive. Might not have to take rates as high because of credit tightening from the banks. Are they done for the time being? I think that they've certainly paused. Uh, time being, yes, let's agree. Uh, uh, I don't think they want to declare a victory. It's not mission accomplished. Inflation is too uh, high. But yeah, this was a very similar message than we got out of the press conference a couple of weeks ago. So I think that's what the, the chair wanted to convey, that, that they're going to pause uh, at the June meeting, certainly, and probably in July. I chose my words carefully in the way I asked you that question, you know, for a reason, for the time <laughs> being. Yeah. But what you just said... Uh, is very interesting to me in that, you know, June, okay, but you, see, you think they may pause in July as well? That would be my guess. That would be my guess now. Look, they are data dependent. You know, they've gotten off what some folks have called the hamster wheel of hiking at every uh, meeting, or at least if they pause in June, they will have gotten off the, the hamster wheel. Uh, and I take the chair at his word. Look, they have hiked a lot. Rates are Restrictive. There are lags. There are challenges in the banking system. So he also emphasized today that they do want to be looking at the incoming uh, uh, data. You know, you have some hawkish members on the committee, uh, Lori Logan and, yeah. and, and Loretta Mester um, and, and some others. And so I think it's going to be a, a robust discussion. But I think the center of gravity now is, is that we have a pause, most likely uh, for for the summer. But what do I do with the, the hawkish, you know, speak? Uh, that we got this week, as you, you know, it was Logan and then even Bullard saying, yeah. quote, it may warrant taking out some insurance by raising rates somewhat more, um, yeah. echoing what, you know, Logan said and, and as you suggested, some others. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, I think part of what's going on here is, and we we talked about it before on your show, and I've written about it, there has been a, a tug of war between Fed messaging and market pricing. You know, just five, ten days ago, the markets were pricing in a high likelihood of a cut in July, uh, and a, a slam dunk of a cut in September. That's all been taken out. Right now, the market pricing is, if there is a cut, it would be at November. And I don't think they're unhappy uh, with that. So part of what's going on here is not so much trying to tee up a hike at the next meeting. It's trying to get the markets away from teeing in imminent rate cuts. Ah, so you think that's really what Bullard and Logan were after, is to try and get the the market to move away from this idea that we're going to cut anytime soon. Exactly. I mean, I think also, you know, I respect them both. I know them both. I've worked with them. I, I think that they do think probably the Fed will need to do more. But right now, you know, the chair doesn't want to go that far. And at minimum, their, their, their Fed speak has, I think, done something the Fed wants, which is to take out some rate cuts that they don't think are going to happen imminently.